So I've tried to start this video um, twice now. This is the third time. And it's interesting how the moment I started to speak, my throat started to close up, right? And I feel like that's a big part of like, as we start to speak our truth, you know, there's different parts of, of our past or, you know, different lifetimes that we've lived um, or that we're living in parallel lives um, that are then activated, right? Are we really truly ready to, to do the healing that needs to be done here? <clears throat> So some things that, and just excuse as I try to just um, allow my truth to come through, are truth that I am trying to continue to figure out and understand more as I deepen uh, my journey and my awakening of what is the truth. You know, so much has been hidden from us. So much has been altered. Um, and there's certain things that are really, really hard to digest, right? And some things, um, you know, have come to me at different times and I just, maybe I wasn't ready for them, but there was just something there that stuck with me. And this is a concept that has continued to pop up for me and continues to, um, show itself and just these, um, questions that I keep having <coughs> and this is in regards to the moon is what we see in the sky the moon truly something that we should and especially as women that we should be giving so much attention to and so much of our energy to or you know even pulling energy from it where does the moon actually come from there are different ideas that it has been put here in the false matrix as something to control us. And, you know, there's different things that, like I said, on my journey that keep coming up for me. You know, why are we still following a 12 zodiac uh, cycle or, you know, information when we've been told we know that there's 13 you know 13 zodiacs is the zodiac something that is also part to control us you know there's so many different things that when you try or not try when you start to go down the deepening and question things that just you know you have to be willing to be in a place of discernment for one but also that be open to everything you've ever known or been taught or follow may be a lie. It may be false. It may be putting you in this continual loop. And the moon is one that continues to come up for me, even though it's something that's been so big in, in, you know, in my life. And, you know, I've just been questioning it more of like, is this something that I should be, you know, paying so much attention to? Why does the moon affect us so much? Is it because they say that this, this and that, or is it because it's part of the false matrix? You know, when more things are coming to my awareness in regards to Venus, uh, and her dance in the sky, you know, the, the five petals of Venus, um, her cycles, eight years, you know, so is the five and the eight is 13. Is that where the 13 comes from? 13 is connected to the, the divine feminine to Sophia. There's talk of, of her being like, um, deeply connected to Sophia and that the moon is actually, um, has done its or whoever placed the moon they've done their best job to mimic different aspects of uh venus and her beautiful dance in the sky so <clears throat> you know they take the different phases that venus has and they call it the moon phases um there's the crescent moon that they talk about well that could be the different petals on on venus's um dance in the sky that we're seeing 
when you look at different ancient um, um, teachings and and um, you know the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Mayans, the Norse people, they all worshipped the sun. Everything revolved around the sun. Venus was a big part of it. The, the sky, the stars was all a big part of it. The planets, but like the moon was never something that they worshipped. You know, they we now talk about moon goddesses, but again, were they moon goddesses? You know, were they different aspects of Venus? You know, as part of Venus's dance in the sky, she goes deep down into the underworld. That is you know, the, the dark, um, the darkness that we need to go through. Um, and like I said, the, the different crescents, is that crescents of the moon or is there crest, the different parts of Venus's dance in the sky? You know, um, the, the fertility goddesses, you know, um, Isis, you know, all these, the Greek, uh, fertility goddesses, um, these all represent Sophia, <clears throat> And um, how as women, we are the creator, we are part of fertility. Um, so this is where I start questioning is, do we as women sync up to the moon? Or is the moon controlling us? And we are giving our energy and our power away to this control of the moon. You know, there's just <laughs> so much that when you start to awaken and you know I, I continually to ask myself like that I unlock the wisdom and knowledge and the memories that I hold within and you know these are some of the questions that come up these are some of the things which you know some of you may be listening to this thinking like she's batshit crazy or like who is she to question you know the moon or who put the moon here or what the moon does but this is all part of it. We are here to question. We are here to find truth and to remember. And um, I highly, highly, highly um, encourage you. Like I said, go deep within and see how you feel. Listen to your inner inner intuition and use discernment. Whenever you hear anybody talk about things, how do these things make you feel? Um, how does, you know when we're ta listening to um, the the moon phases and, and how it affects us, you know, are we allowing that to come in and affect us in certain ways? Like this, this to me, like I said, <laughs> this is this is a huge thing for for my, um, my part of my awakening, because I have been um, following the moon a moon the moon has been like I do all different practices with the moon so many different things um so it's if this lands out being something a path that I you know go down and I follow and I claim this as my truth this is a big like mind-blowing um altering part of my journey as well but I'm open to it because I know that there are so, so many levels um, and pretty much everything that we've been taught, whether it be in the school, be in church, be in, you know, different societies or what, wherever you want to call it, they've been altered and they've been altered in a way to keep us um, in this, like I said, in this loop of believing and being able to be controlled they don't want us to know our true power and they don't want us to follow um, the the um, the things like whether it be, you know, Venus and her dance in the sky um, that the ancients followed. They don't want us to know those those ancient wisdoms and teachings and knowledge because then that activates within us what is already there, our ancient wisdom and teachings and knowledge that we hold. So, yeah, just my two cents for the day. I don't know if anybody else has been going down this path, but I would love to hear from you.